When God made you, it was of sun ribbon, maize, and the infertile char of earth burnt to primer. When God made you, it was with hesitation, for she knew old gods, long dead, in you were born again. My name is Dylan Amaro McIntyre, and I'm inviting you to Donde Esta Mi Ente, Festival of Latino Poetry and Spoken Word. Name your favorite Latino writer currently. Um, Juno Diaz or uh, Eduardo Galliano or Roberto Bolaño. What is your favorite place to perform in the Bay Area? Uh, Galleria de la Raza. Nice. Favorite junk food? Junk food. Uh, burrito? Nut butter. <laughs> Terminator or Aliens? Aliens. What is your favorite song? Oh, uh, The Message by Grandmaster Flash. The first album I ever got bought was uh, Old School Rap Volume 1, which had no curse words, just a bunch of songs about pimping coke and police raids. Thanks, Mom. Name a current living celebrity you would make out with. Uh, Aubrey Plaza. How do you get in the mood to uh, write? Do you have a ritual? Do you have a favorite pair of writing pajamas? Uh, coffee. I, I used to have a, a process of just drinking coffee until I burned through my deodorant and was nauseous and was running to get something to eat. And I'd get a lot done creatively uh, in the meantime. Now I tend to be forced back to my computer uh, as I spend a lot of time trying to stay away from it and letting words back up. What's wrong with the literary world today? Th there tends to be uh, too much of a forgiving approach to, to bad poetry or things that people almost expect that they're not supposed to get it. And so a lot of, uh, in my, I guess in my opinion, poorly written are just written towards the wrong audiences gets a pass that other artistic forms don't get because people back off of the fact that they couldn't connect with it, kind of just assuming that it wasn't for them or that poetry's not for them. Something the Shade of October. When I was 19 years old, my father died, and I've since rewritten him more times than I can remember. I've colored him heroic, closed shut every whiskey bottle he opened, and rewrote my mother's bruised skin back to brown. I've been kind, dressed his story in poetic such that muses would blush at the beauty and truths his life contained. I've been cruel to us both, Dug through dirt and dark to find him, lifeless limp equal as all post-transition are. Drug him out. Take back eyelids. Tried to revive him, filling hollow lungs with hollow words and helping him recite them with chest compressions, trying to settle petty old scores that were better off left in the ground. Somehow, I keep coming back to him. Bringing him back to have something to come back to.